hello welcome back to another episode of sipping on that sipping on that and i'm so glad that y'all back for another week um due to the covid 19 coronavirus, virus um i decided to shoot today unsuperficial come to you as i am uh with all the heartache and the economic downfalls was going on in the world i just wanted to come as humble and unsuperficial as possible so i got my set it off braids <laughs> and you know i'm dressed down and i just want to say my condolences to everyone who lost a loved one a family member in this time of need um I would like to give my condolences to and sorry for a lot of people who don't have a job, who's out of work, um, you know, who's going through hardship right now. So I come unsuperficial as I am because I feel everyone pain. I know what we're going through. So, um, yeah. So, um, I came outside today with no stage, no background, no lights. Um, just to come outside and enjoy the day for today. I'm chilling in the yard today. It's feel beautiful. I don't like these fine bugs, but yeah. Um, it is what it is. It's a beautiful day today to be outside and enjoy the weather. So, my topic for today is, I saw online where everyone was cheering in on the... T.I. discussion on the um, family hustle when his this man who would like to propose to his mother and he wanted to ask for his mother hand in marriage and he had a discussion with the man and um, they thought when he talked to the man and then discussed it afterwards with his mother when they was at dinner that they thought it was disrespectful that he told his mother that if she have a man that stay in her house that he was not going to continue paying her bills and I saw a lot of people thought that was disrespectful that he told that man Bruce, that was his name, and allegedly, I'm gonna say allegedly because I'm talking about a show today. And um, Bruce, he said he didn't have no agenda, but what he did because he did ask about um, a business deal in the process of, of asking for the help, the mother hand in marriage that should have been separate, but at the same time, um, on the hustle, he told him. I'm not going to pay no bills for another man to be in the house to be on vacation. And some people thought that was very disrespectful, but hey, I'm bringing this topic today because that was a true statement that he had said and that it, what he had made at the time. And I will repeat what he said, he's not going to pay no bills where another person can go on vacation meaning after you marry my mama you thinking just because you might have a rich son-in-law that i'm gonna be helping paying the bills and helping with this and i noticed that a lot of people feel that type of way for instance um he helps his mother because she's a single parent and that is his mother so as of then he helped his mother anyway he said he said not only did i pay for your house i paid for the bills too but now if you want to get married to this man he had to stand up like a man and take care of his duties and his chores and he would not get no help from me if he think he having a rich son-in-law he's mistaken and that goes the same too with some of people in the world children uh when 
their kids leave the house and they go out and have babies and um, different children and have more kids and then their relationship don't work. And when their relationship don't work, they figure that the grandparents, the mother and the grandmother and the grandfather should step in and help and take care of their responsibilities because of the man didn't want to take care of his responsibilities. Or some of them feel even if the men is still in the house with the females and they feel, oh, why your parents are not stepping up and helping you do this? Um, we need a light bill paid or we need water paid. Go ask your parents to help you with that. And the realness of that is if you have I'm talking to females, a male in the household, even if the males, he all, they always say sometimes, oh, um, we broke up. Y'all broke up, but two weeks later or next week, he back in the house. Mm. And then once the rent is paid, he back. It's the first of the month again. Oh yeah, mad they come. Oh, I don't talk to him. We broke up all oh, that. He a so and so. He a deadbeat. He a this. But guess what? Soon as all the bills get paid, and all when they family chip in to help and all that, oh boy, be right back in the house. So due to the fact that he stood up to this man and told him. You marry my mama, I'm not paying nothing. That what a man supposed to do. Somewhere in line, we've got it mixed up. What a man supposed to do in a house with women. Somewhere in line, the women feel that they got to do all they can for this man. When in reality, the man should be doing all he can for the female and the children. And... The grandparents should not have to do anything. You know what the grandparents should be doing? If they chose to buy a gift, if they chose to come come on and, 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 and spend money on them, if they chose to, that's when they're supposed to do that. Not because the kids feel that they supposed to do that and like he told his mother I'm not going to do that with a grown man sitting in the house and anybody have I'm talking to the females and the ladies a grown man physical man in your house who you coping with who you having sex with who you call your man your baby daddy who come in and out the grandparents ain't supposed to be doing all they can for you and your children. That don't go like that. It's unacceptable. And if a grandparent and parents tell you no, they have every right to. Because once you start coding and you left home, it's not nobody's fault that your relationships, ships, 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 how many relationships you probably had did not work. How many babies you didn't have for these people? That's your that was your charts. If these people was a deadbeat the first time you laid down and had the baby, don't you think he would have been a deadbeat the seventh time you had that baby? Or if he was a deadbeat when you met him that first year. And you say he is a deadbeat, but you know what? I'm going to try to work it out with him. Don't you think he might still be that same deadbeat 10 years later? And you trying to still milk your family? Milk your family because you can't find a leader in the house? Because you can't find a real man who's supposed to do a real man duties? The support is not supposed to come from the grandmother and the grandfather or your family. 
the support supposed to come from that man and guess what if he ain't doing all he can for on his end that's not nobody else's fault that's what you chose that's what you chose and if he this and he so and so and he that that's what you chose that's the person you decided to lay down with so I commend him when he said that on Grand Hustle on the family hustle and he stood and he looked his mama in the face and told his mama once you marry that man I'm not paying one bill in your house and <laughs> The mama had to think that over. She said, oh, well, I guess I ain't getting married. But I'm saying to myself, you don't think your man who you married can carry the weight? What y'all getting married for if he can't help you? You know, it's not about money, but you need money to survive. We need money in this world to survive. Ain't nobody come and lay up on nobody. But she said he have a business deal that's going to go through a year from now. A year from now. But then she said he's about 55 years old. So he's 55 years old. And I believe they said he have a son that live with them. So he have a grown son live with them. He also... 55 years old and he's supposed to be helping you but he can't help you till a year later but your grown son who you feel who got his own household and his own responsibilities supposed to pay all your bills after you get with this man within the house and still pay all your bills come on mama come on mama you the mama. I see why he always say, you my older sister. Because <laughs> that's his pet word when he call him. He say, okay, my older sister, come on here. And our condolences to his real sister who passed away. And yeah. So, are y'all enjoying the breeze today? I am. Disregard. If you hear the birds and the bees and the, the dogs and every other thing. But guess what though? It is a beautiful day outside. And due to everything that's going on, all y'all social distancing. Please, even if they open up everything, please stay social distancing. You know, um, they still trying to get ventilators, vaccines, and all this other stuff for us. A lot of <clears throat> brown and black people are limited on health care. And by a lot of them are limited on health care, um, it's not a lot of assistance that they might not receive when it comes down to the COVID. I mean, they could say they're doing all they can, but once you walk between them doors, once they on TV, they could say all that. But once you walk in between them doors, them hospital doors, and, and, and you get a whole nother picture, please stay social distancing. And big ups to our nurses and our doctors and our essential workers. Um, big up to the essential workers that are the garbage, uh, garbage trash people, pick up trash. Big up to the essential workers who are our fast food restaurants. Big up to our essential workers who are, <clears throat> who clean up the hospital rooms, the janitors and the maids and all that janitors who clean up the hospital rooms you know y'all all all also you know stay encouraged be encouraged for everything that y'all do you know because without y'all too the first responders the EMSs the um all the first responders but without y'all too 
none of this can be possible. None of it can be possible. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I see every time I be quiet, the dog be quiet. But every time I talk, he be talking, he go off. <laughs> so, yeah. And, um, I, and I'm gonna say this is another episode on sipping on that. Sipping on that. Um, I have not been doing too many lately, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna start back getting into the groove because I have been getting a lot of responses of, hey, where is the sipping on that? We have our questions that we want to ask. And I have been a little missing in action, but I just want to let y'all know I am back. Sipping on that. Sipping on that. Mm-hmm. And... I just want to let y'all know again, I'm in this fight with y'all. I want y'all to stay encouraged, you know, be blessed, and put God first. Without God, Jesus, none of we won't be here, you know. People dying by the three thousands a day. So we still here to share a message, to tell everybody to be encouraged, to tell everybody, you know, to, to stay out a lot of things um and yeah and I'm gonna end that with that note and tell everyone bye bye thank you